This Week in Michigan Football History with Professor Greg Dooley. Good evening. A huge welcome to the maize and blue fedora wearing fans here to watch your beloved men in blue battle for the Paul Bunyan Trophy. Speaking of trophies, did you know it was on this day way back in 1892 that your Wolverines, featuring multi-talented back George Jewett, faced Northwestern in Chicago? Jewett was the first African American to compete in the Big Ten, and today, Michigan and those same Wildcats play for a trophy bearing his name. Four decades later, in 1932, Michigan claimed another big prize. It was on this day exactly 90 years ago that we welcomed the Princeton Tigers and its brand new coach, Fritz Kreisler, to the big house. The Harry Kipke-led Wolverines prevailed 14-7 and, oh yes, won every game on the schedule that year. There were no national polls or playoffs yet, but people still wanted to know, who was the nation's best team? To the rescue came one of my peers, an Illinois professor, to figure it all out. So Frank Dickinson, a faculty member from Champaign, devised a mathematical formula to determine a national champion. In a nutshell, the Dickinson system weighed wins, losses, and ties based on strength of the opponent, and it included a factor for each team's geographical region. Thanks to my colleague, Professor Dickinson, Michigan scored highest in his formula in 1932 and again in 1933 to claim two of our now 11 national championships. And while Fritz and Princeton lost on that day 90 years ago, Chrysler was welcomed back to Ann Arbor just six years later when he replaced Kipke as head coach. And Chrysler unleashed a new era of Michigan football and added another national championship himself. Back to today's prize. The Paul Bunyan Trophy was the brainchild of Michigan Governor Soapy Williams in 1953. It's true, we never wanted Michigan State in the Big Ten, and we certainly never wanted a trophy for the winner of this game. Also consider the name Paul Bunyan. The story is a northern United States and Canadian bit of folklore and not unique to the state of Michigan. On top of this, Minnesota and Wisconsin had already been playing for a trophy bearing Bunyan's name, the Paul Bunyan's axe, for several years. But since there's a trophy, we'll take it. So let's bring Paul home. So go blue, beat Sparty, and for more, check out mvictors.com and wtka.com for the Key Bank Countdown to kick off. This is Professor Greg Dooley.